Good morning and welcome to Hymns for the Soul, a weekly worship and devotional experience through the great hymns of our faith. I want to thank you for joining us today. Each week you'll be hearing some of our Ardmore uh, pianists and instrumentalists playing arrangements of the great hymns of our faith. And you will also hear some of our Ardmore vocal soloist and at times guest soloist singing arrangements of these beautiful hymns. Joni Hanna, Jim Davidson, some of our joy singers and other Ardmore musicians will be assisting me each week to share this worship devotional experience with you. Our musicians today are Courtney Cash, Janelle Brown, Joni Hanna, and Jim Davidson. The hymn for today is Great is Thy Faithfulness, a hymn that speaks of God's faithfulness, mercy, and love. Jim Davidson will tell you about this hymn and its composer, and Rosemary Davidson will share the scripture and the prayer for today. Hear now this wonderful arrangement of today's hymn for violin and piano. Thank you. 
The scripture this morning is from Lamentations chapter 3, verses 20 through 26. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I will call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. By his compassions, they never fail. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. To the one who seeks him, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Hello there, I'm Jim Davidson, music and arts educator at Ardmore Baptist Church. Throughout my life, hymns have played a special role there have been hymns that I have used for praising and worshiping the Lord. And there have been hymns of comfort during difficult times. Today, I'm going to share one of my favorite hymns. While many hymns are born out of a particular dramatic experience, the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness, was simply the result of the author's morning by morning realization of God's personal faithfulness. Thomas Obadiah Chisholm was born in 1866 in a log cabin in Kentucky. Without the benefit of high school or advanced training, he began his career as a school teacher at the age of 16 in the same country schoolhouse where he had received his elementary training. When he was 21, he became the associate editor of his hometown weekly newspaper, The Franklin Favorite. Six years later, he accepted Christ as his personal savior during a revival meeting at age 27. Thomas found great comfort in the scriptures and in the fact that God was faithful to be his strength in times of illness and weakness and to provide for his needs. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 are one of his favorite pa passages. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because of his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Perhaps James 1, 17 also provided another scriptural basis for the hymn. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. In stanza two, the natural created order, including the cycles of the seasons, bears witness to the faithfulness of God. Thomas' final stanza brings the eternal unchanging God into contact with humanity. We receive from the presence of God pardon for sin and a peace that endures. Now, see why this hymn has become my favorite? In 1903, Chisholm was ordained as a Methodist minister, but was forced to resign after a brief pastorate because of poor health. In 1916, he moved to New Jersey, where he became an insurance agent. He retired in 1953 and spent his remaining years in the Methodist home for the aged in Ocean Grove, New Jersey. He died in 1960 at the age of 94. During his life, he wrote more than 1,200 poems and hymns, including Oh to be Like Thee and Living for Jesus. In a letter dated 1941, Chisholm wrote, My income has not been large at any time due to impaired health in my earlier years, which has followed me until now. Although I must not fail to record the unfailing faithfulness of a covenant-keeping God for whom we, uh, I am filled with astonishing gratefulness. May our lives also reflect 
Chisholm's gratitude to God, especially for his watchful care during this pandemic season. It was George Beverly Shea, the famous Canadian-born singer of the Billy Graham Crusades, who introduced this hymn to those attending the evangelistic meetings in Great Britain in 1954. It immediately caught hold and became the favorite of evangelical believers and a great hymn of, of assurance and comfort to us all. I pray this hymn will be an encouragement to you this day. Blessings. To us, fiel Senor. Yes, Lord, you are faithful. And we thank you for this great faithfulness that is new every morning 
and so are your compassions and your mercies. And we thank you for that, Lord. And we pray, Lord, as we reflect on the newness of it every morning, Lord, we will look for ways that we can bring glory and honor to your name, because you alone are worthy, Lord, of all our praise and adoration. In nomi de Jesus, amen. In Jesus' name, amen.